Hey guys, good morning. I just got back from my OB appointment. I feel like my face is rough. Like I have bags for days. I need to drink less caffeine, I think. <laughs> so I make sure I sleep better at night. Like last night was actually a pretty decent night. Um, we went upstairs, I think around 10, 45 or 11 and probably was asleep before midnight. Everly fell asleep and um, she woke up kind of crying. I thought she was going to need to eat around 2.30, 3 o'clock and she ended up falling back asleep and didn't wake up again until 6.30. So it wasn't awful, but just I guess like the con my body has a hard time running off of four and five hours of sleep consistently. I need a couple of nights that are like seven hours at least and it's just not happening so I just constantly feel like I'm staying in the fog which is fine it's just a time it will pass um and I won't even remember because I don't I mean it's like your body you remember that you didn't get a lot of sleep but you don't remember that feeling if that makes sense because until I'm like going through it again I remember not getting sleep with the other girls but I don't remember feeling like foggy and stuff like that so it'll pass I know um just taking it one day at a time and she's getting a lot better about taking like she's been napping since this morning since I left I put her back down fed her around 6 45 and put her back down and she didn't fall asleep until closer to 8 no probably like 8 30 and it's almost 11 and she's still out, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm waiting for those nights where we sleep 12 hours like the other girls do. Um, so we'll see how close those come. Anyway, my OB appointment went nicely. Um, she cleared me, she said everything looked good. Typically, so typically for a vaginal delivery, you get a checkup around six weeks. They check everything, make sure it's okay. I've actually been to my OB once just because I had my incision and everything needed to get checked out so she checked my incision again um, I have like a little tiny scab on part of the incision she said looked fine it wasn't anything like concerning and she checked everything else out and everything else looked good so I'm good now I just have to do my annual pelvic exams you know like regularly and actually current literature say like pelvic exams can be done every three years so I don't know I'll probably just do my annuals and move on. No more babies in my future. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we have some errands to run. Maddie has been doing very well. She's been fever free for three days now, and she, her cough has subsided quite a bit. She doesn't have as much of a runny nose. She's been in good spirits for days. Like, she was just really out of it had general malaise like the first day and a half from the fever but she's been doing really well since then so we are going to pull her sheets um get her room like i'll wash all her laundry and get everything lysol and all of that get her uh, to take another shower and kind of just start the slate fresh and clean and probably let her get some fresh air today um so we'll see she's still not going to go back to school and not be in close contact with the other girls here at the house, but um, just to get her out a little bit because it's been, I know for her it's been a lot tougher than it has been, than it was for Emmy. Emmy was like totally cool being quarantined and Maddie was fine being quarantined when Emmy was here, but by herself she's like super, super bored. So yeah, I don't know what else we're doing today. I'm excited to weigh in tomorrow. We'll see. I'm already kind of considering switching to a different plan because I've been doing more research throughout this week. And I'm currently on the purple plan and I get 29 points a day on purple. That's with the, not the exclusively breastfeeding, but the breastfeeding plan. So it does give me some extra points for breastfeeding. But because I'm not exclusively breastfeeding, I didn't want to give myself too many extra points. But I feel like my body's holding on to water like I had a hard time getting my rings on this morning not 
like when I was pregnant, but just a little bit. I feel just generally a little swollen, like my face feels a little swollen. I'm not sure why, because I haven't had any cheat meals or anything. I feel like I've done really well, um, but I'm thinking maybe, I don't know. I don't feel like I've been overindulging in anything, but maybe I have. Maybe I need to track a little bit closer. So I was thinking about maybe switching to the green plan, which gives you a lot more points um, but only fruits and vegetables are zero points. Everything else you have to count. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I've been throwing in, you know, too many free things. Maybe. Who knows? And then also trying to eat my points on top of that. So I think that's maybe what I'll have to do. We'll see. I'll see how my weigh-in goes tomorrow. I'm sure I'm going to lose a good amount of weight. It's just more about, like, if this plan is is good for me long term as far as like having a little less control over what you're eating i mean not control but like points wise like i really don't have an idea of how many calories i'm eating and stuff like that because you get so many free points so many free foods um for zero points on the purple plan so we'll see i'll let you guys know for sure i'll keep you updated with my weight loss and all that good stuff so I'm just kind of waiting around here because Everly is going to wake up with a vengeance because she hasn't eaten anything in about four hours. So, yes, and then we'll figure out what the rest of the day is going to look like. You ready to get out a little bit? I'm back in business. <laughs> back in business, oh my gosh. <laughs> she came downstairs and she's like, oh, it feels so good to be down. I said, let's go for a little walk. Let's get some fresh air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going on a little bit of a walk. I have a blanket to cover Everly because it's it's hot, like it's probably high 60s. But when the wind and it feels good, but when the wind blows, it still feels just a touch chilly. Like it's perfect for us. None of us have jackets or anything on, but for her, I don't know. So brought a little blanket to cover her. She's snoozing away. Not a care in the world. <laughs> Maddie's enjoying her newfound freedom. <laughs> Trying to keep her as contained while still letting her out as we can. So she doesn't get herself worse. It's such a pretty day outside. So nice. Maddie's watching TV down in the playroom, which is exactly what she was doing in her room. I think it just feels good for her to be like down here with us. I have Everly on my chest. I'm just kind of laying on the couch, being a bum. And then I just went to go pick up Emmy and Autumn. And I'm about to get up and start to make them dinner. They requested soup and grilled cheese. So that is what they will have for dinner. I have no idea what I'm going to have. I weigh in tomorrow, so I kind of want to eat normal but on the leaner side if I can and so I have no idea what I'm going to eat none I don't want soup and grilled cheese I can tell you that for a fact but um that's what the girls want so that's what I'm going to make them Everly has some like gunk buildup in her right eye so I called and made an appointment with a nurse practitioner tomorrow they're probably going to give her some sort of drops or something. I'm like, ugh, I don't know where she got it from, how she got it. I really don't know. But she has it, and so now we got to get it taken care of. I feel like we've done nothing but poor kids, man. Be at the doctor and like try and take care of them. Pick up prescriptions from CVS. Like, I'm just stopping to pick up uh, my uh, eczema prescription right now on the way home. Like, we've seen CVS way too much the last month. Oh my gosh, I swear. Actually, the last, like, month and a half, it's been pretty bad. So, anyway, um, he's doing that, and I'm going to try and get some good sleep tonight like I did last night. I mean, it could have been better for sure, but it was good compared to what I'd been getting. So, I'm hoping... I don't know she has slept quite a bit today so I feel like it's too hard to keep a little I mean she's still a newborn I, it's hard to keep them awake everyone tells you oh sleep when they're sleeping you it's like impossible to sleep when they're sleeping because they sleep all day long and 
then at night when you actually want to get stuff done, you can't because they're not sleeping, you know? I don't know. And also, they don't always sleep calmly. Like, she's got a passy in her mouth right now, but she doesn't hold on to it very well. And so, like, I had her propped up on the boppy and just laying here. And she was not having it. Like, she did not want to hold on to the passy. She did not want to lay on the boppy. So I turned her over on her stomach to lay on top of me. This is the only way that I feel comfortable with her on her stomach. Because I can live here and feel her breathing i don't let her lay on her stomach any other way although during tummy time she's fallen asleep here and there but we don't usually leave her like that so um she's most satisfied on her stomach on her stomach which i don't blame her i'm a stomach sleeper too but we can't be doing this like at five weeks old which by the way happy five weeks to my everly page <laughs> today she was five weeks i cannot believe how quickly it has gone five weeks has flown by with this little girl flown it is insane and my pregnancy lasted 10 years and she's already five weeks old it is so crazy and before you know it she's gonna be six months and a year and it's just it's crazy how fast time flies so anyway i came on here to say something besides ramble i don't remember oh I know. Did I get rid of the package? I ordered the peanut butter built bars. So good. So good. I love the built bars. I feel like I have the package here still. I love the built bars. I like most of the flavors. I guess not. I don't know. Anyway, I feel like I like most of the flavors, but the coconut is my favorite. And I really wanted to try the peanut butter ever since it came out. And I never pulled the trigger because they're a little on the expensive side um which if you've never tried the belt bars it's like a nougat type center with whatever flavor you get and then real chocolate on the outside and it's legit tastes like a candy bar i put mine in the fridge they're so good they're a little expensive i have a coupon code for ten dollars off your first order that helps because you can actually get a sample box for $9.95 and it comes with 10 bars so that makes them significantly cheaper which is great. It allows you to kind of try all of them and then you can order from there. And there are various, that's the only code I have. There are various affiliates that like I follow on um, Instagram that have percent off coupons and stuff like that, that you can always find. But there's, it was so good. It tastes like a skinny Reese's cup. Like as if you had a Reese's peanut butter cup that was on a diet. You know how like skinny margaritas don't taste the same as regular margaritas? This is kind of how this tasted. Like you could definitely taste the peanut butter. It has nuts, like some nuts throughout it and the chocolate, but the chocolate's not as thick as a Reese's and the peanut butter's not as like creamy and decadent as a Reese's, but it definitely has the similar flavor curbs i've had one every single day since i've started weight watchers the regular ones are three points the peanut butter is four points on across all the plans it's so worth it it's so good and the best part about it is it actually has protein like it's a protein bar and it tastes like a candy bar it's so amazing so i will have that link down below if you are interested in bill bars at all um it'll get you ten dollars off of your first order i got my mom on them i had her order some she really likes them nin likes them too and so many people that i follow on instagram just like die over them they freaking love them so like i said coconut is my favorite the mint brownie is really good peanut butter um one of the girls i follow felicia she is a weight watchers girl and she just came out with a a brownie a peanut butter brownie i haven't tried that one yet but it sounds delicious so i tried one of those for four points it was so so good i almost wanted another one but <laughs> that defeats the purpose of having them as like a little special treat so one a day that's what i will stick to and i will work it into my points as long as i can these are the days i just re read something that i think it was jessa duggar wrote on her instagram that these are the best days of our lives we just don't know it or something like that and it's so true like when they're so little it's hard it's tough being a parent and it's tough getting no sleep and 
it's so easy to complain and just be like, oh, last night was rough. Oh my gosh, she wouldn't stop crying. She's not eating, she's not latching. She stays on my boob all day, you know? Like, it's so easy to complain about stuff, but you just cannot be how precious they are and how much they they need you. They're just so helpless, you know, and like they need you to be there for them. And it just feels so good to be able to be there for them. So anyway, let me start stop getting sappy before I start crying again. I've been doing good. My OB did ask me today though. She was like, any postpartum depression? Like, have you been feeling okay? Like, honestly, I felt like I had a little bit of baby blues for just a couple weeks but I honestly feel good now like I don't feel like I'm crying at the drop of a hat unless it's something sad um I don't feel like I'm you know in any pain or anything anymore so I think the whole thing has kind of subsided my hormones are starting to bounce back to where they need to be so anyway I've done nothing but ramble today but this is my life now a baby on my chest <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, I found the package. It was like underneath the pillow. Um, peanut butter built bar. That is what it has in it. This one has 20 grams of protein. Whoa. I think the other ones have like 13 grams, but they also have 110 calories. So that's why this one is four points and the other one is three points. But I have... My stash right here, this is the other one that I really like. The coconut chocolate cream. There's the macros on that one. They're all really good, but honestly, if you just have like a, if you have a sweet tooth and you're struggling, those are something really, really great to have on hand. What? Yep. How did she get up there? I'll call the Come on. Mommy will hold it. You say goodnight. You want me to show want to show me your pillow? Yeah. I gotta hold it. <laughs> we washed her sheets today, so she got this for Christmas. It says Autumn Dream Explorer. And it's a Dora pillow. It is super cute. Also has the teddy bear. And a teddy bear too. Okay, say goodnight. Goodbye. What about see you tomorrow? See you tomorrow. Good night. <gasps> Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then night, mama. Good night. Okay, I'm sitting at my desk. I just got done editing a couple of things. You guys know I'm a Color Street rep, and so I have some stock that I'm just going through. I have, like, some holiday stuff and whatnot left over that I'm just putting aside. Um, but if you are a Color Street wearer, you need this acetone. I, If I can find it, I will link it down below. I got it from Target. It was under $3.00. Um, it's 100% acetone, which I use anyway, but this is a remover dip it thing. Now, okay, back in the day, like back when I was young and I used to use these things, the sponge on the inside was like a regular sponge, like a spongy thing. This is like a plastic uh, brush, bristle brush. It's plastic and you just pour like acetone in there over and over again because I kept wondering like how are I see this on my color street um like groups on Facebook all the time so like this is a glitter polish that's been on since Christmas Eve I'm just going to show you so I don't know if you can hear it in there it's like a a bristle brush it's not a sponge I was thinking it was a sponge so the bristle br brush some of a lot of the girls, what they do on Facebook is they let it, their fingers sit in there for, you know, 10, 15 seconds, and then they scrub off the glitter. I um, just scrub it off because I don't, I don't have time to sit there and scrub each of my finger, or I mean, let my finger soak and then take the time to scrub it. I just scrub it from the get-go, and it takes me about 30 seconds or so, sometimes not even 30 seconds, and you see it just comes right off. It's like insane. I would have to scrub, 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 scrub to get it off with a cotton pad. And this thing was three bucks. And it takes off all of the Color Street Nail Polish 
With glitter is the hardest one to get off with a sponge. These are a little bit easier and the solids are way easy, but the glitter takes forever. Now the acetone in here is kind of drying, so just be weary of that. I have heard that Mineral Fusion nail polish remover on Amazon is supposed to be great. It takes it off just as easily and it does not leave your finger dry. What I do is I just take it off and then I do like a manicure. I trim my cuticles, I put some oil and everything, I wash my hands really well and then I'll go in with my little kit that I carry around specifically for applying Color Street. So this is one that I had from Black Friday in 2018. <laughs> it's called Full Sell Ahead. Um, they released this Black Friday 2018, but they actually re-released it Black Friday 2019, and I didn't get any. But I asked on my Melissa's Manicure Facebook page if I should just jump straight to Valentine's Day nails, or since we still have, like, most of January left, it's only the 8th, I think, um, if I should do winter nails. And so... I was going to do like a blue glitter, but it was bright blue more for summer. So I thought about this. This is a black base and it has like iridescent blue, green, gold glitter. So I'm going to do this one. I really liked it last year. And then I got in, I was sorting my um, Valentine's Day nails. If you follow me again on my Melissa's manicure page, you saw the announcement that I made. But these are all the Valentine's Day nails. I will link the... Um, sale to it down below they're so pretty i love love this one this one is so gorgeous i will be doing a live sale with these over on my um hkd 1122 facebook page probably around the 20th or so but if you want to order these before this is actually a, a hot pink glitter it kind of looks red on camera but it's hot pink and this is a clear overlay so you can layer it over any color that you want. It actually looks really pretty over white though. Um, and this one is like a disco ball pink. This one's super pretty, very popular. And if you want to order these before, I will link the website where you can order them down below. Such pretty prints this year. Of course, I was a stylist for Valentine's Day last year and they were pretty, but I feel like they knocked it out of the park this year. This is a glitter overlay. This one's super pretty, very classic Valentine's Day. And then they have some petite ones, which I have found, honestly, for my customers, the petite aren't a favorite just because a lot of my customers have larger nail beds, but they are really great. So some of the ones I have a whole bunch of nails. These are like all the nails that I've ever used. <laughs> this is what I was wearing. I was wearing um, fleece on and a St. Patrick's Day Queen of Green for Christmas. But let me show you some of the ones that they came out with last year. They had a whole bunch, but I only have a few. So I wore this one last year. It's like the Candied Heart. It's called Sweet Talker. And then this one is Work a Fine Heart. I wore that one last year, and I wore this one last year, Rose and Prose. And then I have a full set of Sweet Talker that I haven't even opened. But because I don't have the package, I never sold it. So, yeah, I can always, again, if you're not familiar with um, Color Street, I always get at least two manicures out of my pack, hence why I have so many. And some of these... I've had for a year plus and they work just as fine. Like, like I said, that full sell ahead, I've had it for over a year and I'm going to apply it. And as long as you seal them, I just keep them here on my nail polish rack that I don't, I keep my nail polish cause the girls use it, but I don't paint my nails anymore. Sometimes I do my toes, but not my nails. Um, if, as long as you seal them really well with a flat iron or, you know, a, a paper sealer or with, a lighter they will last and keep them in like a cool dry spot not too hot or anything they'll last you so anyway that was my talk about my color shoot stuff like I said I'm currently waiting for the vlog to finish exporting I'm gonna get that uploaded and then go downstairs I just got done feeding Everly I kind of had to stop midway in between um, finishing up my vlog so like I was working on it while the girls were kind of getting ready for bed got them all tucked in 
worked on it some more. I really was having a cow, so I went to go feed her, came back up, finished, vis finished editing, and then now I'm doing this while the vlog exports. Um, also, I wanna show you guys what I got at Bath & Body Works. I'm about to put that away. So before I do, I will share with you um, what I got. I'm gonna do this first and then that. So be back in a minute. Okay, don't mind my bed. <laughs> it hasn't been made in probably a month, month and a half. Sheets are clean, but it probably won't be made for at least several more months. So don't mind that. Um, this is what I got from Bath and Body Works. Let me see. This may be a little bit easier to show you like this. That's what I got. Um, so yes, I just edited the vlog that showed you. I did pick up some soaps, um, vanilla, vanilla, what the heck is it called? The winter vanilla one, whatever it's called. And a couple of others some blue ones because that's all that Bath and Body Works that particular one that I went to had I went to a larger Bath and Body Works this time and found more stuff so the soaps were 50% off which made them 325 I had a 10 off of 40 and I did two transactions so this was about 65 70 dollars worth of stuff which for me is not bad considering how much I got so soaps wise I don't even know how many this is four nine 13 15 soaps and plus the other day I think I picked up six or seven so I should be good until the next semi-annual sale. We usually go through about one in the downstairs bathroom, one every two weeks. Um, in the upstairs bathroom, about one a month because we don't wash up. We don't use these bathrooms as much. So should last me maybe not through the next since The semi-annual sale is usually in June. So we'll see. Anyway, my whole point is, is I got more soaps. Uh, four Georgia Peach, two Cinnamon Swirl, five Honolulu Sun, four Island Papaya. And this is great because we're kind of already moving. Like I'll use these now during winter time, but it's been 70 degrees outside. So let's be real. <laughs> like by midday, we are 60s, low 70s now. Our weather's crazy. It's Texas though. It could def definitely change. Um, so I don't really care about having these summer type scents all throughout the year. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I picked up actually two of these Twisted Peppermints. I already have one in the pilot, and I have one pumpkin cupcake I put in there like to switch out. So I have this Twisted Peppermint one. These are like little car scents that you put in your visor. My car was getting stinky, and I haven't had a chance to go wash it. Um, oh, the Vanilla Bean Noel. That was the soap. That that was the soap scent that I got. So I got a Vanilla Bean Noel uh, wall plug-in crushed candy cane and these were actually 75% off not like three dollars or anything so I think it made it a dollar 75 which is pretty good I got a pumpkin cupcake another crushed candy cane and a frosted coconut snowball and I picked up a few of these the other night as well again I don't use these as much anymore especially having Everly and honestly since we got Lola I don't use them as much downstairs because she likes to tip the plug in like our plugs twist so you could make the plug sideways or up and down and she likes to tip them and uh, one day I came home and found the one by the front door tipped all the way over this hat was upside down like this drained all over our hardwood floors yes it was a nightmare to clean up and that area never will look the same again <laughs> so um, I don't really use these as much downstairs as I do upstairs or in the bathroom but I needed them anyway and um, I picked up a couple of lotions because I had a lotion. I don't have that many lotions left, but I had one on my nightstand and it started to separate. And so I was like, oh, maybe this is just too old. So I picked up Portofino Pink Prosecco and Raspberry and Pink Lily. They both smell really good. This is the Shea Moisture one, like the body cream. And this is just a lotion. One shower gel. I probably should have picked up more, but honestly, they didn't have a wide variety of them. They had a lot of lotions and sprays, not a lot of shower gel. So I picked up just one in the Forever Red, um, a body splash, or the Fine Fragrance Mist in Mediterranean Blue Waters. It smells very fresh. And then this one smells, um, it's called At the Beach, and it smells like coconut like it reminds me of Hawaii and so I picked up that that will be my go-to scent for the summer so that's what I picked up from Bath and Body Works I'm gonna go ahead and put it away now I probably won't pick up anything else the rest of this semi-annual sale I'll just wait until the next one